Okay guys, here we have it. This comes from a company called Time Tech. I'll post the links to their Amazon and their eBay um, sites in this video or below in the description. Uh, so this is the Roadhog Digital Driver Protection System in HD. So it features a 5 Hz GPS, gyro stabilization, H.264 encoding, which is good quality, uh, A55 processor, G-Force sensor, SDXC compatible. Let's go ahead and break this sucker open. I've been excited. Ah, it's tiny. Wow. You guys check that out there. Let me try to get some more light over here. There we go. Sorry about that. So the Roadhawk HD. Little mounting bracket up here. Come around to the side. We have a microphone input, DC input, um, external antenna, and the record indicator, GPS indicator. Um, I'm not sure what the E is for yet, but we will be finding out. And then the SD card slot right there for a larger size SD card. And then on the bottom, we have speaker and microphone built into it. Nice. Man, this thing is so small compared to what I thought it was going to be. I, th I thought it was going to be like a whoa, like a big sandwich or something. So let me break out uh, the rest of the contents of the box here. Get this stuff in the spotlight. Yes, yes. I've been waiting for this for quite a while now. I mean, not delivery-wise. Just, I've wanted one of these for such a long time. And it used to be so expensive. But uh, I, I used to say prices for the products and stuff that I would buy, but then people post a million comments about how they got it for $20 cheaper or so. By the time some of you see this video in a year from now, it will probably be cheaper, so why bother? All right, let's break all this stuff out. We've got different kinds of mounts here, like a sticky back and then goes slides into the slot on the back of the unit right here. Yeah, there we go. So, slides in just like that. You can tighten it down and then you can swivel this. Well, if you want to point the right side out towards your windshield, but so you can picture your windshield comes down like this, just like that. So, when you're not using it, slide it off, pop it back on. Nice design. No bulky clamps or any of that crap to have to deal with. SSK Card Reader SD. So, okay, it's a USB flash drive and you can stick an SD card into the side of it. Or you can stick an SD card somewhere else. Oh, all right. What else do we have? Doop, upside down. Kingston SDHC 8 gigabyte memory card there. Additional, oh, for the power cords, you can stick them along the liner of your windshield or whatever and route the power cord and install it. Speaking of which, let's see how long this is. Oh, like crap. Uh, it looks like a good 10 feet or so right there. Let's see how much cable is in there. So you plug that in your cigarette lighter and you're going to route the cable up around the windshield. The, by the way, there's going to be a part two. This is more of an unboxing and introductory review to this product. And then the next video, we're going on the road. So, ah, uh, GPS antenna unit. Right on. So here you have the GPS antenna. And I would imagine, same thing, you want to stick this, you could either stick it up at the top of your windshield, you know, or you can route it outside and stick it on the top of your car, you know, adhere it somehow like that. It's got a pretty long cable there. So this cable actually will plug in to the side of this unit, like that right there. So, so if you've got this mounted in your car, your cable would just run up kind of like with your power cable as well. So you'll have your power coming out of here and then have the antenna coming out of here. Both of them just be routed up out of the way like that. So, and as far as I understand, um, the antenna is, uh, I don't think that you have to use it solely with this. I think you can use this without the antenna to make it more portable or whatnot. 
really good instruction set here. Yeah. Yeah, they outline all of the what is the E button? The E button when pressed will manually create an event. Oh, so you can press it and just and it starts a new event so you have it isolated. That's nice. So we're gonna get into all the functionality in the next video as I mentioned. So we have an installation disk for the software. And I don't know if they cover the software in here. We'll, uh, yeah, actually they do, but I don't know if they show a big screen of it. We'll get into that in the next video. Nonetheless, let's see. Well, they kind of show the map and the features and stuff like that, but I'm trying to find a picture of it actually on the road. Nope, it's not gonna happen. All right, maybe I'll post one in the video when I'm editing, so. All right, here we have the base unit, and I'm going to post the price that this would cost on Amazon and eBay at the time, okay? Maybe I'll do it in an annotation and uh, change it as it goes, but anyway, here it is, the nice, Billy badass little Roadhawk deal. I think this is gonna be so cool. My old, my old one that I used to use, it was kind of like shaped like this and it has a little screen or whatever and that has this huge arm like, you know, like trying to hang on to it. So I think this is gonna be really nice as far as the design, you know, just being able to pop it straight in, mount it to the windshield, boom, you're off and running. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for checking it out. Stay tuned for part two where I actually get into the features, show you the software, some actual live road footage, and we take this baby on the road. Hope this review or unboxing helps you guys out, and uh, post comments, send love, peace. Thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help.